it is actually illegal, illegal to provide false information to the Corporate Affairs Commission. The charge, Madam Speaker, is that the Prime Minister has been, at the very least, a dodgy and unethical lawyer. She's been an incompetent trade. and an untrustworthy Prime Minister. Let's have the judicial inquiry. Let's have the judicial inquiry that Mr Ian Cambridge, the then National Secretary of the Australian Workers' Union, was calling for at the time and has been calling for ever since. There has been unethical and illegal conduct here, an abundance of unethical illegal conduct here. Much of it has been facilitated, at the very least, by the Prime Minister and the advice that she has given. The Leader of the Opposition, after all of these weeks, all of these months of smear, has had an opportunity today to put up and he has not been able to do so. The Leader of the Opposition is now handcuffed to an allegation against me that I committed a crime and he is handcuffed to the fact that he does not have any evidence of that. Now, a decent man, a decent man would apologise for this cause, cause of conduct. A decent man would recognise that he has gone too far, that he has made an error, that he has relied on a false report, that he cannot prove what is being said. I would remind the Leader of the Opposition that the appl application to incorporate the association was signed by Ralph Blewett. He took responsibility for it, his signature, and the person that the Deputy Leader of the Opposition is now in regular contact with. A man who this morning alleged a crime, who today has backed down to conduct unbecoming, and who now is just scrabbling around grasping at straws to try and extricate himself from the fact that he's put himself in exactly the same position the member for Wentworth did with the Gretchen Utegate affair.